minute. Was Jesus really like that as a kid? I mean, it's 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 similar enough to the New Testament for it obviously to be about that same character, but it's different enough for some early Christians to have said, hold on a minute, we're not sure about this. So this is from chapter three of the Infancy Gospel of Thomas. But the son of Annas the scribe was standing there with Joseph, and he took a branch of willow, and with it dispersed the water which Jesus had, had, gath had gathered together. When Jesus saw what he had done, he was enraged and said to him, you insolent, godless dunderhead. What harm did the pools and the water do to you? See, now you shall wither like a tree and shall bear neither leaves nor fruit nor root. And immediately that lad withered up completely. And Jesus departed and went into Joseph's house. But the parents of him that was withered took him away, bewailing his youth and brought him to Joseph and reproached him. What a child you have who does such things. So this poor lad... He's basically done the ancient equivalent of, you know, when you've built as a child the sandcastle and you've built this glorious sandcastle looking absolutely amazing, a whole day's work. And then some horrid lad comes along and kicks it over. You know, we all had that happen to when we were kids. It's basically a version of that story, except in this version of the story, Jesus curses him and he dies. That's the, that's the main difference rather than just um, swears at him or whatever like that. And then it doesn't really stop there. The next incident we have in the, in the infancy Gospel of Thomas in chapter four we have Jesus coming into conflict once again with another child. After this again, he went through the village and a lad ran and knocked against his shoulder. Jesus was exasperated and said to him, you shall not go further on your way. And the child immediately fell down and died. So within the first few chapters of the book, we've got two dead children who've run into conflict with Jesus. And one for basically knocking over his sandcastle and the other one uh, for pushing into him in the street. Some of these stories that come from the Infancy Gospel of Thomas have a later history in the Quran, which makes them kind of very interesting when it comes to Christian-Muslim relations.